Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Maram Classic Essentials Plus and I am Maram Zabirma. In today's video, we're going to make homemade SLBS, also known as text bond. And in the screen, you see us um, with the ingredients that we intend to use. There are just three main ingredients. Here, you see me weighing out the SLS rice what they call SLS rice why it's called rice because it's in that rice form SLS is actually sodium laurel sulfate I'm going to weigh 270 grams of sodium laurel sulfate and I am going to dilute it in water what I'll be needing is 270 grams of sodium laurel sulfate and 161 grams of sodium sulfate I am going to dilute both of them in 1500 ml of water which is 1.5 liters so I'm done with weighing out the SLS here I'm trying to reduce the water in my graduated cup this is a 5 liter cup so I'm trying to get the 1 mil mark um, 1000 mil mark sorry which is the one liter mark so I am diluting the 270 gram of SLS in 1000 mil of water I am going to stir a little just to make sure that everything gets soaked in and I'm going to allow it to sit for a few hours until everything dissolves here you see me I'm about to weigh out my sodium sulfate now whenever you're working with SLS please be um, attentive SLS can be very choky when the air the dust from the SLS comes into your lungs it can be very choky it's not as potent or as toxic as lye which is caustic soda solution when it's the caustic soda when it's poured into water but it's something that you should consider while you are like diluting any chemical you should try to wear nose mask very very important so here I have weighed out my sodium sulfate mm -hmm. 161 grams and I am weighing out 300 grams of water 300 grams of water is equivalent to 300 ml of water because water has a density of when you the weight and the mass okay the measurement by weight the measurement on a cup and the weight on a scale are exactly the same thing when you weigh one gram of water is equivalent to one mil of water okay there are a few liquids that share that particular property but water is the one that tops the list so here i have dissolved both of them and this about six hours later it could be more but this was what i could remember about six hours later so it was like either between six to seven hours later and i'm about to put both of them together here the sls has completely dissolved in the water that i used to um to dilute them so here i'm trying to see if there is any um any left in the sodium sulfate solution sodium sulfate is actually what they call generally called global salt it's actually hard to dilute in ordinary water you might consider wanting to use warm water in your own production so here i have added both of them and i am stirring both of them to mix properly once you add both of them it will form a very thick gelatinous product or um, as you can see it has formed a very thick, thick jelly like product so here what I added in my stainless steel pan was about 200 ml of water that was why I said it's 1.5 ml 1.5 liters of water that you're supposed to use in total but when I started I used 1.3 liters 
So here I have added 200 ml of water additional just to allow me to be able to stir and mix them properly. So after that, I think I stirred for up to two minutes, if not more, then I covered it with a cling film. I didn't want anything to pour in it or to, to fall inside of it. So I just covered it and kept it overnight for it to clear off. I normally like to um, write out, like when I'm making um, any product, I write out the product I'm making, the um, ingredients I use, the measurements, and the dates I make them. It helps me to remember a lot of things because sometimes I just forget what I have there or what I use to make them. So the next day, if you can notice, it's a little bit less um, less opaque and a little bit more transparent, but translucent sort of. So it looks more like the Texapon or the SLES that we all know. It gave me the exact same consistency. I did not have any industrial Texapon around. I had it in my workshop and my workshop is where the boys quarters is so i didn't want to move there to go and bring so that i could compare but it would have been good i compared both of them so that you see what i'm talking about but it gave me almost the exact same texture look and consistency of the industrial based texapon or sles and i was so happy with the outcome why because this was my second trial my first trial i did not upload that video because I didn't like the fact that I didn't get it, but I had used it in a production and it came out well. But I was so happy with this one because I I heard that it was it was possible to make homemade SLES and I was like, no, it's not possible. And I have just confirmed it. It may not be the complete SLES because industrial base, there should be more additives to it. Okay, because I realized after I kept this for like two days extra, I noticed it went completely transparent. It did not stay translucent like the industrial based text up on. So there must be something in that industrial based text up on that is not in this. Okay, so this is just SLS rice and sodium sulfate with water. So there has to be something else that has been added to the industrial base. But I was still happy that I could still make something that I can use to do little DIYs at home without stressing myself if I don't have SLEs at home. Okay, so here I decided to store it in my jar. And at the same time, I was weighing it. And by my own mental calculation, the, the price difference was... Uh, it was a big margin there was a good margin between the price difference of making this to use in your production than the price difference of buying an industrial based SLES so this can actually um, this can actually go in place this can actually stand in place or you can use that as, as a replacement for your industrial based SLES or Texapon instead of you worrying that you do not have that so I got 1,752 grams, which is equivalent to 1.752 kilograms. Okay, that is one three quarter kilogram. Okay, so I was very happy with this. You can see that was the first one that I made. That one is a little bit more runny than this, but it does, by the time the two of them by the time i i went to check this two days later i noticed that it was as transparent as the other one okay so i understand this is what the indians call sls liquid okay and so i'm just happy that i could be able to make it so this is the production of my own sles i'll call it him homemade texapon this is the protection uh, sorry the production so far Thank you all for watching. God bless. Bye.